Yo guys, what's going on? Evan and I'll see you back with another Fortnite video and today we're going to be filming a Save the World video and this is kind of like a tips video on how to get materials on Save the World because a lot of my friends and other people that I met need materials and I'm like, why don't you just go into a mission and get them? They're like, it just takes forever to get them. But a w I know a way guys where you can get nuts and bolts and mechanical parts really fast. You can get about 200 nuts and bolts per mission. You can get like 100 mechanical parts per mission, something around that guys. And yeah, a lot of people don't know this for some reason. It's it's been here for a long time, and I'll be showing you guys how to do it and all the tips and tricks that you need to know how to, how to get nuts and bolts and mechanical parts. Obviously, depending on the mechanical parts that you get depends on your power level, guys. But anyways, if you guys are going to enjoy this video, and if you guys find this video useful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already, guys. Subscribe. My videos get a lot of views, but nobody subscribed, guys. Come on. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And if this video is good, I'll be doing more videos like this. And hit that post notification so that you guys don't miss any videos, obviously. So, yeah, let's get right into the video, boys. Okay, guys. So, this is quickly for you guys that don't know um, what level you have to be to get certain mechanical parts. So, if you're in Plankerton and your mission is power level 40 and higher, you'll start getting sturdy mechanical parts but if your missions are under power level 40 then you will sadly only be getting simple and rusty i think you might be able to get sturdy but it's really really rare if you're under power level 40 missions so again if you want sturdy you have to be power level 40 missions and higher so just know that for a fact i'm in candy so the lowest power level mission there is in candy is power level 46 so no matter what if i break a few cars i'm a guaranteed like a bit of sturdy but I just want to say that for you guys. So if your missions are power level four, 40 and higher, you will get sturdy. But if they're under power level 40, then you won't be getting sturdy, sadly. So here we go. Again, this glitch, guys, is really, really useful. As you can see, I have 619 sturdy right there. And if we go to my nuts and bolts, as you can see, I am balling with nuts and bolts. I have 4,000 right here. This is all 4,000. I think I have 4.8. 4.6k right there so this is all just from doing the glitch guys this is how effective the glitch is and since i'm in candy power level 58 missions i think is where you start getting a bit of sturdy so if you guys aren't like power level 58 missions in candy then you will be getting exactly like what i'm getting you get at least like 50 to 100 sturdy mechanical parts per mission and you get like five sleek mechanical parts per mission because you do get a bit of sleek and you can get out at like over 200 nuts and bolts per mission too so you'll get like a full stack of nuts and bolts per mission so this a glitch is really this method is really effective i don't know why i said glitch not a glitch but this method is really effective so the things you will be needing guys are an outlander because the outlander has abilities as like getting double loo and um has a really good one called the anti-material charge which you guys will see, be seeing why that's good in a bit but as you can see focus acquisition just increased chance to find double loot by six percent that's why outlanders are really good for farming and also right there loot find six percent extra chance to find double loot so if you guys get that then you actually will obviously be getting double loot which is really good guys so i'm going to be showing you guys how to actually get a bunch of notes and bulls so here we go. Obviously, like I said, if you're in Plankerton and you're power level 40 and higher in missions, then you'll be able to get sturdy. But obviously, if you're under power level 40 missions, then you won't be getting sturdy and you'll only be getting simple and rusty. So here we go. We're going to go and say candy mission. So the mission that you guys want to do in order to get actually a bunch of nuts and bolts, you can either do the industrial park or the city. I think the industrial park actually gives you way more nuts and bolts. It has more things that you can break for nuts and bolts than the city. So I'll be showing you guys why in a bit. So you want to go into um, an industrial park place. Obviously mine being Kindy Valley, Palo 58. And if you're in Palo 58 mission, you'll get a bit of sleep. Just a bit, guys. Not a lot. Like, five sleep per mission, and you'll get a bunch of sturdy and nuts and bolts. But nuts and bolts, you can get in any Palo mission. So let's head right in. Alright, guys. So once you guys actually load into the mission, obviously, you guys want to do the basics and just break cars. And why this anti material charge is really good, guys, is because you can one shot the cars like that so it's faster than just breaking them and those blue things that you just saw me break on the floor right here will mainly just be on the sidewalk and if you ever see them just go break them you can get mechanical parts and nuts and bolts from those so those are really good and it's only like a two shot as you can see there's another one right here so this is where the anti-material charge comes good guys so once you guys see one of these electricity things you just want to go ahead and punch that right in the face and as you can see i got 11 nuts and bolts from that 
So those give you a lot of nuts and bolts, guys. Whenever you guys find electricity-based things, those can give you a lot of nuts and bolts. So let's go find some other stuff that can give you nuts and bolts. Again, guys, if you guys find these things on the sidewalk, then just go ahead and do that. As you can see, I got a bit of sleek there. Three nuts and bolts and a sturdy mechanical part. As you guys can see, here we go, another electricity thing right here. So, uh, I'm trying to part of that. There we go, another 11 nuts and bolts there, guys. We already have over, like, 30 nuts and bolts from this dude. From just a bit, just, we've literally been in the mission for, like, a minute. Here we go, just break these cars. These things, two guys on the sidewalk, if you see these electricity things, break, go ahead and break those. As you can see, I got a sleek and nuts and bolts on that. Okay, guys, and like this, electricity things right here. You want to break all of these. Now what I like to do just so it's a little quicker, I like to get all these in a row just like that guys. Look at how many nuts and bolts I got from one. So that's six right there. Wow, these zombies are really annoying. So you just wanna keep running around. Okay guys. So this is a really big part of doing this in the industrial zone and this is actually why I think it's better to do this in the industrial zone because you obviously don't get this. So there's this one building in the industrial zone that I'm showing right in front of me guys that gives you about a hundred to two hundred nuts and bolts just in that building that you can break stuff in so you have to look for the building that has a blue crane just like that now we'll be heading over there right now again guys those blue boxes i'm gonna go ahead and break them and then we'll head over to that building that building guys is godly and i think it's pretty rare a lot of people get it a lot of times but it really just depends on luck and stuff on getting this building it doesn't spawn every time like i said so you want to look for this building with the blue crane now as you guys can see why it is really good is because you look at all these electricity posts so what you guys want to do is you want to hit this main blue one with the anti-material target. As you guys can see right there, 32 nuts and bolts just from hitting that one little piece. Once you do that, obviously, just if you guys have all this right here, just leave that. Wait for your anti-material charge to charge again and then hit it right in a row right here. Look at that, guys. Another 54 nuts and bolts from just hitting that. That's about, that's already like 90 nuts and bolts. And if you guys come in here, there's one of these. Anti-material charge this And then there's all these that you can break Obviously it would be faster with the anti-material charge so let's just break these In the meantime while it charges So now I'll just hit all these in a row Boom That's what I was talking about We got at least over 100 nuts and bolts easily from that building guys Again you want to look for that one with the blue crane that's like the best building that you can find for nuts and bolts. Actually, before you leave, this is one other thing you guys want to look for. A little fence thing like this with another crane. Guys, the things with the things with the cranes are just overpowered for nuts and bolts. Look at that. Another electricity post over there. All that. I'd say that's at least like 50 to 100 nuts and bolts just in that little place. Right here, 50 to 100 nuts and bolts. That's already 67 over what I said. Obviously, break this crane too. Go ahead and break this. Hold on, guys. I just want to show you guys how effective this method is and why the Outlander is really good. Look at that. 13 from those two. And right here, we should get about 11. Oh, we got 14. Well, there you go, guys. As you guys can see, that's, that is the best way to get nuts and bolts. And if you guys found this video helpful and you were, guys are going to use this method now because it's freaking overpowered, then smack that like button and subscribe if you're not already. Again, I will be looking on how this video does. And if it does really good, I'll be uploading a lot more tips and stuff on how to farm, how to scam scammers if you guys are down for that. I'll send you guys some of my methods. And yeah, anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So. I know, I know, I know that you like it like that. I'm waiting to check the name on the tag. White fox fur on my jacket. Excuse me, that's a.